Hello folks. Thanks for taking the time to check out our uh, our first edition of the workbench here at Buckaroo Gear. My name is Carlos and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at these new black wire rain chains. Uh, we just uh, recently acquired these and we're going to add these to our product line. Um, we're going to take a look at these uh, these uh, rain chain connectors, uh, how they work, and how we uh, how we put them on, and uh, the uh, Jose Ortiz uh, 42 inch Rommel reins. Uh, these happen to be the, uh, the Oklahoma style Rommel reins, and uh, then we'll take a look at this uh, these uh, bridle bits that we offer here for sale. Uh, this one happens to have a uh, a uh, Salinas mouthpiece on it. But anyway, uh, I'll take a little time. I've, I've kind of got the camera situated in front of the, uh, the workbench and I'm kind of working around the tripod here. So if you guys will bear with me while we zoom in on these uh, new rain chains. Uh, these are sort of patterned after the more traditional style rain chains uh, they uh, they're a, a, a twisted wire variety uh, I'm sure you've probably seen some handmade rain chains made out of bale and wire these are pretty much the same thing you can see uh, you can see the swivel here uh, looks like it was uh, they did a real nice job of brazing or soldering the swivel together, a real clean look. Uh, they're they're a real nice little pair of uh, of rain chains for for the money. And we'll zoom back out here so you can. Uh, oops, wrong way. So you can kind of see maybe what we're doing. I'll try to keep it right over the little logo here uh, these here uh, these are new to the website uh, basically what they are is just rain chain connectors they're just a real simple piece of half inch latigo strap with a keyhole punched in the end um, and for most of you guys that are familiar with uh, Rommel reins uh, this is nothing new to you but for some of you that aren't familiar with Rommel reins they kinda come in two different lengths usually they're around uh, uh, a 54 inch to 50 inch or a 42 inch um, the 42 inch of course they're uh, they're made to use with rain chains. Uh, the 54 inch are are made to use without rain chains and those you will often see with a set of connectors at the bottom that looks similar to this and you'll see them at the bottom of the rain and these will be used to connect the rain to the bit. Uh, this is just happens to be a to be a pair that we took off of uh, or happens to be from a pair that we took off of uh, 54 inch rain chains that we had uh, here at the clinic because somebody wanted to, wanted to use rain chains and we just took them off. Um, I'm not saying that you can't use these with rain chains. Some people do. Uh, I'm just simply saying for rains like these which are the 42 inch rain chains they don't come with these connectors so uh, what we have is a simple little thing to connect your rain chains to these Rommel reins and these little uh, rain chain connectors uh, a couple guys I know uh, have told me that these are better to use because 
if your horse should ever get into trouble while he's uh, in the bridle uh, and gets the rain or the rain chain caught on a fence post or a nail or something on the fence um, this would be what would break uh, if he were to pull back and things were to come tight and you'd have a little wreck or something this would be what would break before say your very expensive three hundred dollar three hundred and fifteen dollar set of Ortiz Rommel reins or your nice little rain chains or your bit um, or, or or something or what have you I guess is what I'm trying to say you don't want your bit to be turned over in the horse's mouth either so what we hope is uh, these might break before uh, something else does um, anyway what I'm gonna do now is show you guys um, how I would connect these to the to the rain chains uh, very simple way of doing it um, this end of course with the swivel uh, make sure I get it in the camera here this end of course with the swivel this would be the end that you would connect to the bottom of your bit you can see this is the bottom of the bit here so this would be the end that you would connect to your bit uh, usually the swivel end is uh, the end that you connect to the bit as far as your reins are concerned to put these uh, to put these chains on the end of your Rommel reins uh, the first thing I do is take a set of pliers here and uh, I'll just use this rag and let me uh, zoom out a little so you can get a better view of the whole picture here I'm just going to use this rag to open up this eye here on this S hook now Oh, here's another thing I guess I should mention. A lot of folks will take a pair of pliers and twist this eye hook out. And uh, I was taught that you should never do that because what you will do is you will get it out of round. In other words, if you twist this out this way to open it up, when you go to close it, it's not going to be round or symmetrical like it was originally when you bought it. So what I do, uh, or I was taught to do, is just twist this eye hook to the side to open it. Uh, these are gonna, these are pretty stout, so I'm gonna have to kind of heave on them a little bit. Okay, so uh, this is not reality TV. I cut out the part where I. I struggled with this little eye hook. The reason I'm using the rag is I'm trying not to to mar up the metal with these pliers. They're pretty aggressive, uh, pretty aggressive jaws on these pliers, and I don't want to mar up the metal. So, anyway, being that these are extra stout, I'm going to have to grab both ends with a set of pliers, and I'm kind of working around this. Uh, working around this tripod here so I've kind of got my arms at a weird angle so yeah these are extra stout man they will not bend but basically what you see there is I've kind of started it kind of started it I might need a vise to get this done because I can't get around this pair this uh, there we go real difficult to get around this tripod anyway so here we go here's the end of our rain and here's our little uh, our little rain connector here and we got the end of our rain chain if you guys can see that and like I said I took that hook 
and I twisted it to the side rather than twisting it open this way I twisted it to the side here to open it up now all I need to do is just twist it back and that'll make it to where it's not out of round um, of course I'm not going to twist it back here because we're going to sell these rain chains so I don't want them on the reins but uh, so there you go real simple our new uh, our new black wire rain chains you guys can see that uh, these handy little rain chain connectors here and uh, of course these aren't new to the site I've had them for a couple of months and we try to keep a few sets in uh, in stock I try to get at least two or three sets a month they seem to go pretty quick um, but uh, both or all three of these things can be purchased if you go over here uh, there's a listing of uh, Romel reins and then uh, headgear will be where you'll find the rain chains and uh, the rain chain connectors uh, and then of course don't forget about the bits a lot of people ask me these are these are real good using bits uh, three hundred dollars you can't go wrong uh, sold them to several people and they like them we have them available in the uh, Salinas mouthpiece here or uh, we also have a half breed you guys all know what a half breed looks like so uh, if you don't just go over here to the headgear or actually you can click on bridle bits in the listing there up at the top and it'll show pictures of uh, the, uh, the bridle bits it'll show pictures of uh, both the uh, Salinas and the half breed bits okay uh, I think that'll about do it you guys are getting a good view of this uh, bit getting the detail on there good using bits they're a black finish they go really well with our new rain chains here the color will match so they're all gonna rust anyway so wouldn't be too worried about it okay thanks for joining us on our uh, our first little venture into the uh, orc bench at Buckaroo Gear. If you uh, guys have any questions or suggestions, be sure to shoot me an email at uh, workbench at lostbuckaroo.com. And uh, if you'd like to see another product reviewed or uh, have suggestions on a how to, Shoot me an email and uh, we'll try to do one of these every month. Alright, thank you and have a good day.